What are the best 10 tents for backpacking? I've tested dozens of tents, including some of the most popular ones on the market, so I can let you know which the best are for new backpackers, best for couples, best for through hikers, and a bunch of other categories. Some tents are innovative and some are great value. And one of the tents is the tent that I think is gonna replace the Z-Pax Duplex as the most popular tent for through hikers on trails like the Appalachian Trail and the Pacific Crest Trail. The first category is the best tents for new backpackers. As a new backpacker, you're probably gonna be prioritizing price, ease of use, and accessibility. You're gonna want a good all around tent. And I have two recommendations for you. They're both easy to get and aren't gonna break the bank. The first tent is the Nature Hike Mongar 2. It costs $220 US and weighs four pounds. The second tent is the REI Trailmade. It costs a little bit less at $180 US, but weighs a little bit more at 4.25 pounds. Neither tent is the lightest on the market and they don't have the best features out there but they're good all around tents that are gonna be awesome options for one to two people. And I made sure that both tents are fairly lightweight so that you're not cursing my name while you're lugging your tent down the trail. If you're interested in any of the tents that we're talking about today, I'll have links in the video description so you can go check them out for yourself. The second category is the best tents for solo backpackers and I have three recommendations in this category. As a solo backpacker, you're probably gonna be prioritizing weight as well as ease of setup, and all three of these options accommodate those two things. The first tent is an obvious choice. It has solo in the, its name. It's the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo. This tent is really lightweight at 740 grams and relatively affordable at $260. It's probably the best all around solo tent out there that you can get. The other two options are the Mountain Equipment Company Spark 2.0 and the Marmot Tungsten UL. Both of those options use a standard tent pole structure in order to erect the tent, whereas the Lunar Solo uses a trekking pole. So you're gonna be saving quite a bit of weight with the Lunar Solo. And what I really like about this relative to the other two options is that it has a lot more space. It's a very deep tent, so you can set up a wide sleeping pad in there and then still have room to bring in your pack or a furry friend. But if you really need a freestanding tent or something that's double walled, then go check out those Marmot and Mountain Equipment Company tents. This next category is probably one of my favorites and that's the best tents for couples. And I have two different options here. If you're backpacking as a couple, you're probably gonna prioritize three things, modularity, space, and ease of setup. If you want a palace to share with another person, you really can't beat the Sea to Summit Telos three-person tent. This thing is huge. You can easily fit two 25 inch wide sleeping pads in here and then still have a lot of space for gear. It also has a ton of headroom and is really wide even as you get up in elevation of the tent. So you're not going to be bumping shoulders and heads as you're moving around the tent. You get all this space and the tent still weighs under two kilograms, which is phenomenal. It also packs up into two separate stuff sacks, which makes splitting up the weight really easy. But the best thing of all is how easy this tent is to set up. It has color-coded poles and fly attachment points. And one of the best fly attachment systems that I've ever seen out there. It's really simple, easy to use, but it also allows you to set up the tent fly first so that if it is raining, you can set up the fly and then set up the inner inside of it without getting your inner soaking wet. If you want a lighter weight option at just over a kilogram, then the Durson x is gonna be a great option for you. It's quite roomy as well. It does fit two 25 inch wide pads in there, so you still have a lot of space. And it also has a very simple pitch to it. If you have gotten to camp and you're with somebody else and you're both very hungry and you're trying to find a campsite and then pitch a tent, you can really appreciate how much an easy to pitch tent can come in handy in those circumstances. You can't split the weight as easily with the x because it is an all-in-one pitch but that's okay because you are saving quite a bit of weight relative to the Telos three person or even other tents on the market. The next category is the best budget tents. If you're looking for a budget option, you're probably gonna be prioritizing price obviously, but without compromising too much in performance. And I have two options for you here. We already talked about the Nature Hike Mongar. That's a great budget option. I really like that it's easily available worldwide through Amazon or AliExpress, but they did take a lot of inspiration from the MSR Hubba Hubba tent. Some might say too much inspiration and that might be a factor for some people. But if you wanna go more lightweight while still having budget friendly options, then the 3F UL Lanchan series of tents is great. This is the 3F UL Lanchan 2 Pro. It weighs half as much as the Mongar 2 while also costing quite a bit less. 
The Lanchan tents are trekking pole tents, so like the Lunar Solo and the X-Mid tents, they use trekking poles in order to set them up, and that might be intimidating for some people, but as, after setting the tents up a few times, it's gonna get a lot easier. And I find personally that trekking pole tents like the Lanchan are easier to set up now than traditional tent pole tents like some of the other tents that we've seen. With the Lanchan series, you can get two-person tents like I have here, one-person tents, single-walled or double-walled, so there's a lot of different options depending on what you're prioritizing. Before we talk about what the best ultralight tents are, I want to swing back down the line of tents here and talk about what the best crossover tent is. If you're looking for the best crossover tent, you're going to be prioritizing two different things. A spacious enough tent that you can easily fit car camping air mattresses in here, but also light enough that you can take it on a backpacking trip. There are two good crossover options that I've encountered when researching and testing out tents. They're the Marmot Limelight tent and then the REI Half Dome SL tents. We're going to focus on the Half Dome SL tents because I find that they are just steps above any other tent as far as being good for backpacking as well as car camping. I have the Half Dome SL 3 Plus here and you could easily fit two adults and two children in here or three adults comfortably. It has a 90 inch by 78 inch floor so you could actually fit an entire queen size mattress inside this tent. It doesn't look big standing out here but once you get inside it's actually a super roomy tent. And you get all this space for under five pounds. If you're on a trip with three people and you're splitting the weight of this tent, that's about a pound and a half per person, which is not a lot of weight. Even if you're only using this trip with one other person on a backpacking trip and you just want tons of space, you're still looking at under two and a half pounds per person while you're carrying the tent. Frankly, I think this is one of the most slept on tents out there. It's a great value at $380 and then you get all that space and performance with a lightweight package. For the best ultralight tent, you're gonna be prioritizing weight while not sacrificing durability too much. And in order to accomplish that, you're gonna be looking at tents made with Dyneema composite fabric. For the best ultralight tents, I have two options here for you. The first one being the Z-Pax Plex Solo. It's insanely light at only 395 grams. I'm pretty sure that it's the lightest fully enclosed tent that you can buy. The Plex Solo has been my go-to ultralight tent for the last year, and I probably have over 50 nights in it. It's been holding up great. It looks pretty much brand new. I also used its sibling, the Z-Pax Ultiplex, for 36 days on the Great Divide Trail, as well as many other trips, and that tent also held up well. So I have a lot of faith in the durability of the Z-Pax one-person tents. If you're a little bit claustrophobic and want more space for your ultralight tent, then the Durston X-Mid 2 Pro is gonna be the way to go. The X-Mid 2 Pro is still very lightweight at 555 grams, but it's quite a bit more spacious. It has a 40 inch wide floor and you can fit two 25 inch wide sleeping pads in here. They both just have to be tapered and you have to kind of shimmy one down the tent a little bit. What really impresses me with the X-Mid Pro is that it doesn't sacrifice features in order to hit that 555 gram weight. You still get really nice zippered outer doors. You get really robust inner zippers. You have magnetic fly closures as well as peak vents. Normally tents in order to achieve this weight are having to sacrifice at least one or two of those things. For many years now, the Z-Pax Duplex has been the most popular tent with through hikers on long trails like the Appalachian Trail and the Pacific Crest Trail. But I think that the X-Mid 2 Pro is gonna start giving the duplex a run for its money due to its additional features and additional space while still coming in at a very light weight. I think we'll start to see the X-Mid 2 Pro popping up on trails a lot more often starting this year, but I wouldn't be surprised if it surpassed the duplex in popularity in 2024 or 2025. The downside with ultralight tents made with Dyneema is going to be price. The Plex Solo costs a whopping $600, while the X-Mid 2 Pro costs even more at $680. If you're interested in the best sleeping pads out there, go check out this video. I go over the best ultralight sleeping pad, the most comfortable sleeping pad, and the best all-around sleeping pad. That's my go-to right now that you can get.